Hi there. So you want to be healthy, but you don't know what to eat. You're confused in the head area. And let me help disperse your confusion and I'll tell you what to eat. I'll tell you right now. So we're out for a walk. We're just out walking. Got my new camera here. Can you see the car coming? Such a wide angle. You can see everything. It's amazing. It's not amazing. That wasn't amazing. So before we get into today's content, we got to do a couple tests. So right now, I have a lavalier mic plugged in, but it's so loud. You can see it's down here near my... Okay, here's a little lesson for you. If you plug a lavalier mic directly into your camera, there's a good chance that it's going to be too loud. And my other camera, I can lower the volume on it, but this one I can't. So I'm testing it. It's so far away from my mic, so hopefully it's not clipping. But tell me what sounds better, this or this? See, now I have no mic plugged in. The car. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for that. See, now mic is not plugged in. It's just the camera audio. And I don't know. I think it's going to pick up every sound of every car. So I'm kind of nervous to use it. Unless I'm really close, maybe that's better, but that's too close. This camera, not the most flattering on the face. I'd rather be out here, but. So what sounds better, that? This or, did you hear that? Was that amazing? Is the wind bad? I'm sorry. Okay, second thing I want you to pay attention to is the picture. There's two profiles. Right now we're in natural, and there's a vivid, which we're gonna switch to right the wind sorry is this any different are the colors more vibrant and lustrous which do you prefer so tell me down below if you will which mic do you prefer the lav mic or the on-camera audio or and also the picture profile the first one or this one now so we'll just leave it on this one and we'll continue on in my journey walking through a neighborhood Okay, last thing I want to test before we start talking about what to eat is the stabilization of this. That's part of the reason I got this camera is because it looked so smooth in all the footage. It's like not shaky at all. I hate shaky video. So I just want to tell me how that looks and let's see if I can run with it. How shaky will that be? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's talk about food, shall we? So I'm a big believer in a fruit-based diet, in theory. You see, this is how I healed myself. I know I repeat myself a lot, but I'm so proud that I, I managed to overcome ulcerative colitis with a fruit-based diet. The doctor said it was impossible. I shouldn't have ran him out of breath. They told me that I would be on medication for the rest of my life and eventually I would have to cut my colon out. Those were the two options. I, I never believed it. So here I am. I'm just proud of myself. I haven't taken medication since 2008 and I haven't flared up since 2012 when I gave up dairy. I'm a healed man. And I mostly attribute that to the fruit-based diet. So while I believe the fruit-based diet is very healthy, you could overcome pretty much any illness, it's another thing putting it into actual real-life situations. It is so hard. It's so cold out still. It's like five degrees and it's almost June. June? Really? So I will say this. In order for fruit to be healthy, it has to be ripe. And when you live in a northern climate like Canada, we can't grow fruit here for like seven months of the year. So everything we get is imported. And in order to, for fruit to last, it has to be picked unripe so it's hard enough to survive the journey. 
That is the sad truth of our world. Do you like to be further away like this? Or closer like that? Post it down below. So these fruits picked on ripe hard as a black dick in the winter. They, they're not healthy. Not healthy. When you pick a fruit before it's ready, it doesn't completely complete its nutritional profile. It just, it's like, it's a half fruit. You pick it, it's like, it has half the mineral content. I can't prove this, but it has, you can taste it. It's not a complete food and it's not that healthy. You can still get some pretty decent health from it, but it's not anywhere near what it should be or could be. Hey little buddy. <laughs> so that's the first knock on fruit. What we get is unripe, it's not as healthy as it could be, it's more acidic, the fibers are harder, everything is worse. So if you can get amazing quality ripe fruit, you're in a whole nother world than what most of the world is getting in the supermarket. So supermarket fruit, it'll bring you only so high, but then you gotta go to the source. You gotta find your farms. The second problem with fruits, for those of you who don't have millionaire mindsets, is it's quite expensive. I mean, I could probably spend $500 a week if I wanted organic fruit to live off, mostly. It's like undoable for most people. Two grand a month? I don't even make that yet in my mind, but not in actual reality. So the cost of fruit is stupid. Most people can't afford it. And even me, like I like to save my money. I like to get deals. And part of that, part of the reason why I'm so good with money is because I don't spend it on stupid shit. But the fruit, it's like, you can save so much money on a starch-based diet. It's hard to justify buying the fruit. So I'm, I'm with you, I understand it. The third problem with fruit is getting it. It's a pain in the ass. To actually get enough ripe fruit, you gotta like, if you're eating the bananas, you gotta first buy like a box or like, say like 10 bunches of bananas. And then once they're almost ripe, you gotta go buy another 10 bunches and have this perpetual ripening schedule. Like it's, it could take up your whole life. So you can either dedicate your life to gathering fruit or you gotta find another way. So those are the three problems really with a fruit-based diet. The cost, the perpetual ripeness schedule, and the unripeness factor. So those are three knocks against the world's healthiest food. And it's it's not has nothing to do with the actual food itself. It's just the problems in our modern society. How do we get that fruit ripe to us? We need better technology. We need like suspended animation where fruits are just in gravity, anti-gravity chambers, and then it can be picked perfectly and shipped. Maybe that will come in 2015. That year already happened. Moving along. So the next best food, in my opinion, I've been on so many different diets. You got fruit as the top of the mountain, but the next best food would be a starch, a starch. Cause I've tried the fats, raw fats over cooked starch. It's a debate. We could have it right now if you wanted. I'll do that right now, I swear to God. But in my experience, the cooked starches leave less of a residue. They don't clog you up as much. My circulation is much better. When I was on the high fat diet, I'd sit in the chair and I'd be leaning with my arm weird and my arm would fall asleep. Or if I'm laying down and my hands are just resting on my chest, that little angle was enough to make my arms numb and now that went away. So the starches and the fruits promote better circulation. I believe my hair will grow thick again. So good times on that. So when we're talking about starches, so much simpler and easier. Even though I believe if you had two options in front of you, perfectly ripe fruit or starch, you go with the fruit for better health. That's, it's not even a question in my mind. 
but the convenience factor, the cost, I mean, you go buy a 10 pound bag of rice, you have your meals for the next month. It's like, it's just there. You just gotta cook it up and you get some veggies, you get some raw veggies in with that and you can make a decent meal. And the cost is so much cheaper. It's not even in the same league. It's not like, oh, I could save a few dollars. It's like you're quadrupling your cost of groceries if you go with fruit over starch. And is it worth it? Is it worth it? One thing that people don't factor in when it comes to the cost of fruit is how much money they waste on fruit that goes bad and rotten and it's over overripe or moldy. Something you can't control it all the time. So you'll get pieces that go bad and you can lose like 50% of what you cost, but it, it will cost you money. It was an acceptable sentence. It was at least a third grade level sentence. So just move on with your life. I tell you, I've been eating pasta. I've had two meals. I don't know why I'm doing this. I had one meal of pasta for lunch one day and it was good and I liked it. And so I was like, I'm making that again for dinner. I don't give a shit. And then the next three days I just did that. Lunch and dinner was a pasta meal, which is like empty carbs. There's nothing in it. But I felt good. I felt pretty good. My skin's breaking out a bit. I don't love that. But like my energy, it seems I feel stronger in the gym. I don't know why pasta does that. It's like, I think I get enough carbs when I'm on the fruit, but there's something about starchy carbs that feed the muscles better. Like, I do wonder if anybody is an expert on this, tell me down below. Does fructose enter the cell as glycogen or does it have to be converted? Because I know Dr. Robert Moore says we can use fructose as it is. And then some like medical professionals say we have to convert the fructose to glucose before it can be used. And some people may not do that very good, doesn't get absorbed. So you tell me, that's what I want to know. Because I feel stronger eating pasta for some reason. It's ridiculous. That was awkward. It's black. He didn't nod back and it made me self-conscious and there we have it, there we have that. So I don't know, I feel stronger with pasta even though it's not doing good things for my skin. I don't know. Hello. <laughs> good old fashioned white people. They always say hi when you so bottom line here, when you bring all the factors together and you're actually living a life on planet Earth, it feels like starch is just so much easier and I feel pretty good on it. So I don't know, I don't know. I think you want some fruit, but if you can't get the right fruit, is it even worth it? Is it even worth the hassle? Because I've had so many fruit meals where it's just like, I'm not even enjoying the meal. That's the worst. That is the worst. Whereas a starch meal is consistent. You know what you're getting. Even though like white rice tastes like nothing, you can flavor it. You can flavor it. I hate runners. I hope there's none near me right now. Oh God. So I don't know. Eat whatever you want. Just throwing out ideas into the ether. That exists. Should we do another run test? <laughs> Should we do any slow motion tests? What could I do? Here's a slow motion running test. 
<laughs> so it would be nice if we could all be fruitarians in the jungle, but I was just peeing. I didn't film it. I'm sorry. Next time. So it'd be cool if we could just be fruitarians, but practicality limits the amount of people that can do it. And if your goal is to spread veganism, which I think we all should be doing, I mean, it's the best choice for the planet and our health. The starch is gonna reach more people just because it's easier, it's more affordable, and for all the reasons we've discussed today. So if you're curious what I'm eating today, I had a green juice before I got here. Celery, spinach, no. Celery, parsley, lemon. So I had that at like 10.30 and then left immediately, which is why I had to pee back there. Travels through you faster than the speed of love. So I did that. Oh, you evil son of a Coca-Cola bitch. I'm gonna paint your, I'm gonna paint Pepsi on your car. That Coke truck distracted me. I forgot to tell you what I was gonna eat today. I had the green juice before I left and then I, everything went to hell. So after that long walk, I just did my one-legged squats. Those kill my legs so bad. So this is what I'm having for lunch. Oh, you can see them. So first I'm gonna eat that cup of wild blueberries frozen. Thawed, not de-thawed. Silly goose, who would ever say that? Then I'm gonna eat all these mangoes. Probably not all of them, just as many as my hunger dictates. And then I will have some spinach after that. The coconut water I will have first, actually. I forgot you were sitting there, you silly coconut water. And if I'm still hungry after all that, I will eat the meat of this coconut. So that's lunch. And then for dinner, I'm debating on having rice and veggies and then some chickpeas after that, or the pasta again to finish. I have one more serving left. I might get it rid of, get it, get it over with. So that's it. That's what I what I will eat today. I just I couldn't make it through the sentence without effing it up. Back to our regularly scheduled program. I saw a green bottle of Coke while I was standing in the grocery store line, and it said something like natural, everything natural in it, and every ingredient was unnatural. Every single ingredient. It was like we're sweetened with natural. It had some stevia in it. But it was still like sugar and glucose, corn syrup, shit. So, we are so bamboozled so easily. It's pathetic what these companies can get away with. So I hope you enjoyed coming out for a walk with me today. I hope the quality is as good as I hope it is. That, that didn't make sense. I'm just a bit nervous about the audio quality. This camera is so easy and fun to use. I just, I want it to be the perfect camera. I love it. So please be perfect. Sony, I love you. So I think we're done here for today. Let me know down below, what is the perfect diet for human beings? Are we carno bitches? Are we carny whores? Do we need bacon and eggs every day? There's a fly on the that's not a fly. What the, is a fruit-based diet best? Or is a starch-based diet best? Or is an omnivore diet best? Or is a balanced diet best? With all the food shut. <laughs> yeah. Balance. That's the dumbest diet. Okay, I think we're done here for today. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down. If you're eating mosquito bacon right now it's not even chew worthy it's got a weird texture that mosquito bacon I'll tell you that much it's stingy kind of makes you itchy okay we're done subscribe for more videos get yourself a oh my god spread veganism the fun way don't be a dick. Oh, are you vegan asshole?
Don't get a vegan asshole shirt. Just get a friendly one. Oh, what's that? Vegetable police. That's funny. He's the police of vegetables. What's that all about? And then they find it. They search for it and they find it. And then the next week they're vegan. They didn't even know they wanted it. So that is the key to life. And that's it. See you in the next video. What's up, Reggie? What's up, buddy?